doing a quick little haul video. I went and hit um, three of our little thrift stores here in town. One was a St. Mary's Goodwill. One was called the Doggy Bag, and they donate to uh, the Humane Society. And I also went to one called Four Paws, and they do also. So the stuff that I got from Four Paws, I paid 50 cents for each piece. Um, this one is gold tone. It's in pretty good shape, and it's marked and this little tag here, Sarah Cov, upside down, but it's Sarah Cov. And then this necklace, it's kind of blue and white swirled, and it's vintage, and the clasp is marked Hong Kong. Um, and those are 50 cents each. And then I paid $1.25 for these earrings. Um, it's a Japanese or Chinese motif, I'm not sure. Um, these are not marked but they're clip-ons. Um, I got these at the St. Mary's Goodwill. I got three pairs like this that are the clips. Uh, none of these are marked, but it's like a, a light green, a darker green, and then these pink ones. Um, I got these there also. These ones are marked Hong Kong in there. They kind of feel like they might be Bakelite or just plastic, but they're really cool. It's like brown and it's almost like a tortoiseshell. Um, these ones are marked, oh, Germany. I just really like these. They're dangly little flower ones. And then I found these and I was looking at them and I'm like, hmm, those look like silver. The cabochon is just plastic. So I kind of looked at the back, but I couldn't read anything. And then I get outside and I look at it. And it's not wanting to focus. Let's see. It's on this way. Uh, I don't have great light right now. We've got, looks like a storm's about to roll in. Come on, focus. Focus. Um, let me see if I can't lay it down. Anyways, this pair of clip-ons <laughs> is marked 925. They've got um, a leaf on one side, and it's just it's really just like plastic in the middle. Um, and then the backs were marked 925. So these were each 50 cents, and then they were also half off, so it was they were a quarter a pair. Um, some other stuff I got. I got this little uh, vintage clutch. It was 50 cents at another store. Um, I'm just grabbing the stuff that's like right by me. I got this basket and I'm gonna use it to uh, put the mail in by my front door. These little um, felt Christmas ornaments. I'm gonna probably take them up to work because we don't have any decorations for my work. Um, two sets of these lights with, they're just like regular Christmas lights but they have like silicone rubber stuff over the bulbs. These were a dollar a piece. The basket was 50 cents. I got this uh, brass bird cage. I think you can unscrew it and it was marked a quarter. Um, a little glass jar. I'm gonna use it in the kitchen probably. 50 cents on that. Uh, this little wicker cup holder. I'm gonna find a cup for it. It was marked 25 cents but it's got an x through it so it was probably like 10 cents um i got a picture frame a whip a cooling rack some shirts oh got some paintings i'm gonna walk you over ignore my house <laughs> i got seriously like ignore my house <laughs> i got this scarf and the one i filmed on they were each this one was f marked five but i want to say it was a quarter um i got these two glitter uh, deer head paintings, um, three shirts, a couple of big, well, three really big bowls that we can use to eat um, soup out of. Those are made in Korea. I'm trying to make sure. I got a glass cutting board that has already been washed and put in my kitchen. Um, I think that was it. So I'm going to do a quick recap of some stuff that I got in a giveaway that I won. 
if I have enough time to record if my phone doesn't go out. I feel bad for never recording videos or getting them uploaded after I record them because it takes so long. I'm sure it'll take just as long on here. So I want a giveaway from Vintage Discoveries and here's some of the pieces that I got. Let's see. My favorite pieces. Okay. I got This necklace, it's silver tone, aurora borealis rhinestones. All the stones are there. And the hook is marked star, which is not wanting to focus. Um, this is a Napier piece. Is it Napier? Yeah, this one was Napier. It's gold tone. The bees are kind of textured. It's got a little bit of wear, but nothing major. Um, this watch, um, it's a, I did a little bit of research on stuff. Um, the watch is a Revisa 17 Jewels. Japan movement. Um, it doesn't work. I think it's been overwound. I Google. I looked it up on eBay. Or not eBay, but Etsy. And they're running. Even if not working, there was one on Poshmark for like $32. Um, let's take out some of these earrings. Okay, so I got this set of clip-ons. Silver tone. It's got like a green moon glow, I think is what they're called. Um... These ones are flowers in like the cloisonne style. Um, it was surprising all the earrings came in pairs. Um, I got this pair. They're just like faux pearls. Also clip back, not marked. Um, I got this little pin. Um, it's marked on the back, on the clasp, made in Taiwan. Um, got your standard little circle pin in leaves. You know that Frugal Gal loves her leaves. Um, I mean, there's really like, there was all kinds of stuff. Um, okay, here we go. This one is I can't hardly read the class, but I read what I could and Googled it. This is one of the Sarah Coventry um, style that's like a button clasp where it snaps together. Only I couldn't find it with this piece attached, just the chain, so that may be an addition. Um, this one is a little gold tone with like the long links and the little silver tone balls it's got the sister clasp and it is marked Monet this one I couldn't read it and I was like it's pretty but I don't know what it is and then I finally got it into some better light and it is marked Sarah Cov upside down it's the same tag as that other one um, but I didn't find that one I found gold tone of that same style um, necklace online. Um, there was a cute little turtle brooch. All the rhinestones on his back are there, but I think he may be missing his eyes. Um, another vintage clip on. It's got like the AB crystal danglers. It's not marked. I don't know if I said that. Um, and there's two of those. Got a little string of amethyst chips with a barrel clasp. Um, this one is gold tone, uh, fold over clasp. All the rhinestones are there. This one was marked, I think Korea. I had all this stuff sorted out by like where brand or style brand or where it came from. <laughs> that didn't last long. 
Um, this one has the AB crystals. It's like the rosary style chain. And it's got this big drop on it that like shines like pink and blue and purple. And it's marked Avon. This one is Avon as well. Um, this one, I looked it up. It is lead crystal. It's uh, marked on the bale 1981. Um, so it's like a commemorative piece. Yeah, this bracelet, um, it's... <clears throat> It's gold tone and it has like these little, uh, looks like quartz, colored quartz all up it. Um, the fold over clasp is broke, but I can probably fix that. Um, there's the other one of those. And the other one of those. This brooch was really pretty. It's like the textured gold. Um, there is some wear on it. There's a faux pearl in the middle, um, but it's not marked. I don't think any of the brooches were marked except that one that was from Taiwan. Um, I got an earring and brooch set. All the, it's like a pink plastic stone and then the faux pearls and it's gold tone and all, everything's there. It's really pretty. It's just not something that I think I will wear. Um, there's this one, gold tone. I want to say the stone in the black middle is plastic. And it's got a rhinestone here. And this one was... I want to say Avon. Upside down. Yeah, it's Avon. <laughs> um... This tiny little pin, it's a uh, silver tone flower. It's got all the rhinestones on it. It's not like the super old class, but it, I mean, it's not marked, but it's still really pretty. Um, I got this little brooch. It's a, uh, oh, what's the flower? A daffodil or an iris, and it's got a red stone in the middle. Um, not marked. I think all these little ones you would call them like scatter pins. Um, I got this little one. It's like glitter under resin, and then it's got the mesh for the hat and then the little bow. A little clasp on the back. It is not marked. Um, this one I put on my own chain. This one is an agate slice. And it's got gold tone on it. Let's see if we can't get the. See, look at the way the light shines. That is so pretty. I put it on a chain because I plan on actually wearing it. <laughs> um, got two tangles. Uh, this is like rhinestones. And it's on a chain that's marked Germany, but I don't think they match because the jump ring is a darker silver tone than everything else and it just doesn't look like it goes um this one's a little chain with a little y style pendant with like three little heart shaped faux pearls um this one is also avon okay this one's a modern piece it's on a it's got the lobster lobster claw clasp um, it's really pretty. I mean, it's like square shaped stones and they're all there. And it's got one little knot in the, uh, chain and the extender portion of it. Um, the set of, they're, they look black on film, but they're gray faux pearls with, get a second to focus, that style clasp, but there's no marks on it. So it's not silver. Which I'm not worried about. Um, this piece is something somebody Frankenstein. It's got a little gold tone uh, filigree looking piece with like a red rhinestone here and a white one on top. And then it's got, it's been put on a silver 
chain that just doesn't match it, but I may have something to work that out. Um, okay, we got a tiny little uh, double heart bracelet. I think it actually might be an anklet. And that one is marked Korea. This one has like the fold over clasp and it's got more leaves, more leaves, Miss Frugal Gal. And it's like four, five, five chains. Four of them are just regular ones and these ones have like flat pieces for it and it's, it's layered, it's tiered. It's really pretty. Um, this came out of something somebody at lady at work gave me and just ended up in the box. It's just a cheap little silver tone. Um, ankle bracelet. Um, this one is a wooden fishy. It's not marked in any way. Um, the clasp is the old style. It's like the C clasp. It's like the farther away from it my camera focuses. Okay. <clears throat> this says uh, the card says Jewels by Park Lane, but I, I don't feel like they are. Um, and they're just like a cheap, very cheap gold tone with a faux pearl in the middle. They're not marked. Um, I've got a teeny tiny um, rose bracelet with a little crystal in the middle. And this one was... Uh... Okay, so I was looking up stuff... And someone was saying that there's the mark that is, let's see if we can't get it to focus. The circle with the indented dot in the middle is one of the Avon marks. But I'm not sure that one has it. And so does this brooch and the matching earrings. They both have it, so I don't really know. Um... Little tiny rhinestone heart, not marked. Uh, gold tone, pretty cheap, but it's still cute. Um, my first uh, stick pin. It's got a little enameled butterfly in gold, or in yellow, red, and pink. Um, there was a few cheap earrings in there. There's this little gold tone one with the faux turquoise colored stone in the middle. But he bet it's real. Huh? No, it's probably not. Um, it's marked size 8 and it's got like an arrow with something through it for the mark. And I've seen other people get it but I can't remember what it was. Cheap little um, red stone, red uh, can't think of the name of the shape of the bead, but it's just red plastic beads, and they've got some sex, some, um, I know all these words, and now I don't have them. Stations. It's got these stations with these, um, it's sort of like a gun metal with the same color red rhinestones in it. And a big, chunky, 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 um, <laughs> wooden bead necklace on a stretchy cord. Um, I don't, I don't think I have anything else to show you guys. Um, I just wanted to finally sit down and get a video made since I, oh, there's still one more. There's still like two more pieces for this box. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong. I have more stuff to show you. I mean, I have more stuff that's in the basement, in my basement that I could bring up and show you, but I would have to be a whole other video. So this is a little set of uh, Avon gold tone starfish earrings. They were still in the box. They're marked Avon. There was no doubt about that. And the box isn't marked, but it was Avon in an Avon box. And then this one's a little silver tone star with a heart cut out, star cut out in the middle and little rhinestones. And it's got all of its rhinestones and the chain's in good shape. Um, I think that's all. Um, it was fun getting to sit down and do a video. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, have a good day. Bye.